नमस्कार सो टिल नाउ वी हैव लर्न सम मेथड्स टू सॉल्व अ सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन द सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन हैज यूनिक सॉल्यूशन राइट व्हिच इज द सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन इज आइडर वी हैव अ स्क्वायर कोफिशियंट मैट्रिक्स और डिटरमिनेंट डिटरमिनेंट नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो राइट नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ वी विल सॉल्व those cases in which we have determinant equals to zero okay so we have seen till now that we have determinant not equal to zero in which case we get unique solution right if you remember we get unique solution we were getting three solution now what will what will how we will solve when we will have determinant equal to zero or or uh we have system of linear equations with m equations m equations and n variables n variables which means that we have a rectangular co coefficient matrix rectangular right so these are the two cases which we have to see but uh, for solving these two cases right this determinant equal to zero and return uh, rectangular matrix we have some method called gauss elimination method elimination method right but before getting it to date i want you to understand some uh cases of system of linear equation right and that is the first one is homogeneous system of linear equations so what is homogeneous system of linear equations so the system of linear equations which have all constant terms equal to zero what do you mean by all constant so like we have uh, some coefficient matrix a uh, variable matrix x and the coefficient matrix will be zero okay so if i take a example so let's say a11 a12 a to one, a to two. This is the R A matrix, right? And this is x one, x two. This is our x matrix, and we will have zero zero. Okay. So this is called homogeneous system of linear equations. Okay. If we talk about the solution of homogeneous system, okay, that what will be the solution of this system? So it is obvious that it will have zero as its solution right it will always have zero as its solution and this is called trivial solution of the system okay this is called trivial solution of the system as we know that we will multiply anything with zero like if we are getting zero that means that one of these both will be zero right multiplying something with zero will result zero right so either a into zero will be zero or zero into x will be zero right so it is sure that zero will be a solution okay and which have the zero solution is known as trivial solution okay so the homogeneous system of linear equation always have two possibilities okay either zero is the unique solution okay or either there are infinitely many solutions other than zero okay we can have two cases either zero is the one solution or we have infinitely many solution other than zero okay and same we have another case that is a non homogeneous system of linear equation which where a x is equal to b that means then at this time a11 a12 a21 and a22 and here x1 by 1 but we will have a1 a2 uh, let's a c1 c2 okay so this okay so in this case this is known as the non homogeneous system of linear equation this will be okay and in this case we will have three possibilities okay there are three possibilities either there is a unique solution okay there is a unique solution or 
there are infinitely many solutions or there are no solutions okay so we have all these three solutions now the question is how we will find the solutions right be uh, like i am saying that yeah this have the unique solution finitely many solution and no solution so all this solution we will find using a method called gauss elimination method and in this method we have two cases which we have to study as you have must heard about ref and rref that is the raw eclan form or reduced raw eclan form okay so from next video we are going to start raw eclan form which is a very important topic in our course and this will these two method will let us solve many problems and uh, further questions okay and uh, help us to understand further topics in our course so till now that's all thank you if you like the video please share and subscribe